Good afternoon. We're going to try it again. Good afternoon. There you go. It's a wonderful day. Please, everyone, be seated. And here's how you know I've been a professor at UMass for 15 years. Folks who are standing in the back, there's still a couple of seats up here right behind the students. If you would like to sit, please feel free to come forward and sit. And I think there's some ushers who can help you to your seats. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the College of Humanities and Fine Arts Senior Recognition Celebration. I'm Barbara Krauthammer, Professor of History and Dean of the College of Humanities and Fine Arts. And really, I couldn't be happier. It is my great, sincere pleasure to be here with all of you today as we celebrate our remarkable and accomplished graduating seniors. Congratulations, Class of 2023. We'll begin our ceremony today with the UMass Amherst Land Acknowledgement. The University of Massachusetts Amherst acknowledges that it was founded and built upon the unceded homelands of the Pocumtuck Nation on the Norwatuck community. We begin with gratitude for nearby waters and lands. We recognize these lands and waters as important relations with which we are all interconnected and depend on to sustain life and well-being. The Pocumtuck had connections with these lands for millennia. Over 400 years of colonization, when Pocumtuck peoples were displaced, many joined their Algonquian relatives to the east, south, west, and north. That includes Mashpee and Aquino Wampanoag, Nipmunk, Narragansett, Mohegan, Pequot, Mohican communities, and Abenaki and other nations of the Wabanaki Confederacy. These nations, these native peoples still maintain connections and relationships of care for these lands today. We also acknowledge that the University of Massachusetts Amherst is a land grant university. As part of the Morrill Land Grant Act, portions of land from 82 native nations west of the Mississippi were sold to provide the resources to found and build our university. As an active first step towards decolonization, we encourage you to learn more about the native nations on whose homelands UMass Amherst now resides and the indigenous homelands on which you live and work. We also invite you to deepen your relationship to these living lands and waters. Okay, let's begin the celebration. First, please everybody join me in thanking today's brilliant student musicians, including some of our graduates. They were led today by Department of Music and Dance Chair, Professor Matthew Westgate. I'd also like to start and take a moment to thank all of the people who have worked so hard to make today's ceremony happen. Thanks to the audiovisual team from Access Audiovisual, our partners, Corp Events of New England, our photographers, Tom Kendall and Ultimate Exposures, my sincerest thanks to UMass Amherst Disability Services, Recreation Center, and last but not least, to Amy Flagg, our ceremony organizer and mother of a graduate Joshua today, and the College of Humanities and Fine Arts team of staff and graduate students, all of whom helped make today possible. Thank you all. Leaders of the College of Humanities and Fine Arts have joined me on the stage today, and so I ask them to please stand and be recognized when their name is called. Senior Associate Dean Joy Bowman. <laughs> Associate Dean Lisa Green, Distinguished Professor of Linguistics. 
Associate Dean Jason Morley, Professor of History. Associate Dean Nancy Noble, Senior Lecturer in Art History and Director of the College's Advising Center. And Associate Dean Kara Takakjian, Undergraduate Program Director and Chief Advisor for the Italian Studies Program. Graduates, we are here to celebrate you in the company of your loved ones, your faculty mentors, your friends and family, and to recognize each of you individually for your accomplishments. I'd like to begin with a sincere note of appreciation to your families and friends who have supported you, encouraged you, comforted you, and cheered for you throughout your time in the College of Humanities and Fine Arts. They have seen you through your most joyous and your most difficult moments and have helped remind you what this is all for. You have made your loved ones proud, and I hope you've made yourselves proud too. So please, let's thank your family and friends. <laughs> Graduates, take a deep breath. You made it. As you move forward, whether you're starting a job, going to graduate school, or looking for a job. Now, parents, I promise you, they will find jobs. <laughs> and they will find careers that are fulfilling and meaningful, I promise. As you do this, as you embark on your future, I hope you will take some time to appreciate all that you've accomplished over these last few years. You survived the late night study sessions and research papers. You overcame the butterflies in your stomach moments of walking on stage in theater productions, picking up your instrument for a public performance, and sitting in a classroom or in front of your computer before a challenging exam. You've completed group projects. I've lost my place. You've completed group projects and the assignments that you only remembered at the last minute, you know it happened. You made it through the ruthless wind tunnel next to the library, the seemingly endless lines in the new woo, and you survived. You thrived and you're here. What's more, you achieved all of this while having to deal with the enormity of so many challenging events happening in the world around us. Though it's been over three years since the global pandemic began, we're still trying to understand the ways it has changed and shaped our lives. It's changed the way you learn, the way your professors teach, the ways we socialize, the ways we make and share art, and the ways that we understand the lives of the people who are dear to us and of those we'll never know. We've all witnessed so much over the last few years from brutal fights over human rights and social justice issues, political violence and war over national sovereignty, to triumphant progress and joyous celebrations in our local, national, and global communities. I want to avoid the cliche that you're living in unprecedented times. Instead, I want to encourage you to appreciate the wonder and the joy and also the responsibility of engaging the world and making the most of what you have learned at UMass. I'm hopeful that each of you will use your intellect, your creativity, your critical thinking, your kindness, your bravery, your curiosity, and your voices to help lead your communities wherever they may be and however you may define them towards a better and more just future. Your education in the humanities and arts has prepared you well to do just this because you've chosen to understand the complexity, the frailty, and the beauty of humanity and to look at the human condition past and present and in the future to see it for all of its good and bad. 
Through the study of literature, history, art, language, architecture, performance, philosophy, and all of your majors, the arts and humanities help us better understand the world around us. In these disciplines, we can find overwhelming beauty and joy, much needed reflection and moments of reprieve, splendor and transcendence. It's also through the study of the arts and humanities that we can identify what isn't working well in our societies, confront what needs to be changed, and discard what no longer serves us. We see what it means to disappoint, to fail, what it means to be fragile, vulnerable, and afraid. And we see what it means to be resilient and persistent in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Ultimately, we see what it means to be human. You're graduating from one of the country's leading research universities, and you have been taught by esteemed professors who are internationally recognized experts in their fields. Your education at UMass has prepared you for this next chapter in your lives. You may not feel that way right now, and I'm sure that some of you or your parents or friends are probably wondering, to quote Taylor Swift, how could a person know everything at 18 and nothing at 22? <laughs> but I assure you, you are ready. Take what you've learned here, as well as all of the qualities you have within you as individuals, and bring that out into the world. Now more than ever, your creativity, your intellectual independence, your inclination to question everything, and your ability to view things from many angles will serve you and our society well. The world needs people who live and breathe the arts and humanities. You are the next generation of leaders, thinkers, creators, artists, educators, and innovators. Some of you may feel certain about your next steps after college. Some of you are still finding your way. I want to assure you there's no single right way to move on from here. No matter what path you choose, there will be unexpected victories and setbacks, but it will all be okay. Be open to it all, embrace it, and learn from it. Don't be afraid to challenge the status quo. You are ready and willing to fight for what matters most. Ask hard questions, dream boldly, propose wild solutions to big problems, communicate with passion, create connection and build community with those around you. You've learned how to make room for other perspectives, to bask in moments of collective jubilation, and to create space for compassion and growth. You're forward thinking, you're adaptable, you're curious, and you have the skills and knowledge to shake it up. The world needs your thoughtfulness, your resilience, your compassion and patience. The world needs each of you. Given the mark that I've seen you make already in our college and at UMass, I have great confidence about what you'll achieve in the future. So I'd like to end now with a slightly altered quote from the brilliant African-American writer and scholar, Zora Neale Hurston. Jump at the sun. You may not land on the sun, but at least you'll get off the ground. So now, graduates, families, I'm going to invite the department chairs and faculty, beginning with our W.E.B. Du Bois Department of Afro-American Studies, to come forward to present our graduates and bestow the commemorative medal on each of them. Good afternoon, everyone. That was terrible. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Much better, thank you. My name is Professor Covington Ward, and I am the chair of the W.E.B. Du Bois Department of Afro-American Studies. Many years ago, I stood exactly where you're standing today, receiving my bachelor's degree in Afro-American Studies. And I hope my brief comments can offer some encouragement as you leave UMass and move on to the next exciting chapter in your lives. Afro-American studies is also known as black studies, Africana studies, African-American studies, African diaspora studies, and a number of other names. As a discipline and field, Afro-American studies is passionately concerned with placing the experiences and creativity of black people wherever you find them in the world at the center of focus. So rather than being marginalized, we center the experiences of people of African descent. However, Afro-American studies is not just about studying, it's also about action. Like our namesake, W.E.B. Du Bois, our department brings together scholarship and activism. As such, many of our students are drawn to Afro-American studies because of their interest in social justice and their commitment to fighting racial and other social inequalities. Our students leave UMass with the critical thinking skills needed to craft solutions and face challenges head on. And our students will find themselves in very good company. Mae Jemison, the first African-American woman astronaut. Angela Bassett, the actress who starred in films like Black Panther, which I'm sure many of you have seen. And even former First Lady Michelle Obama. They all earned bachelor's degrees in Afro-American studies. And we know that you all will carry on this incredible legacy. We in the W.E.B. Du Bois Department of Afro-American Studies are so proud of the leaders and the change makers that you have become. And we look forward to all of your future achievements. So continue to make us proud. Thank you. Dimitri Funderburk Ivy. Deanera Clarice Marie Johnson. Willa Perry Friedman McLennan. Anamika Nair. Zachary Stewart. Good afternoon. I'm Steve Schreiber. I'm professor and chair of architecture. I'm joined today by my two colleagues, Professor Ann Marshall, who's the undergraduate program director, and Ray Kenosha DeMann, who is the honors program director. Our department provides an intellectually rigorous design education that grounds its pre-professional students in the art and science of the built environment. Its interdisciplinary collaborative program embraces spirited, socially progressive, and environmentally responsive design. We ask you, our students, to contemplate the role of design in creating beautiful, accessible, and equitable spaces. The significance of that work is now heightened in the wake of enormous public health, environmental, social, and environmental justice, and artificial intelligence challenges that have characterized your time at UMass. And this might be a good place to remind you that AIA, which hopefully you'll all be joining, does not stand for artificial intelligence yet. Your thoughtful ways of seeing how we navigate the world is essential to envisioning a way forward and building a better future. We can't wait to see what you build. Congratulations to you and make some noise. Jacob Bouchor. (laughs) 
Matthew Korovic. <laughs> Tyler Philip Cashton. <laughs> Leah Eliza Byrne. <laughs> Emily Maria DeWire. Natalie Lynn Terry. Emma Madeline Bruce. Rebecca Ruben Shea. Wow. Cleel Uhi Loeb. Lucy Hawkins. Ryan Callum Welsh. Charlotte Heather Hambucken. Tyrese Downey. Lazine B. Swan. Freya Naomi Johnson, Anastasia Helen Santoso, <laughs> Hannah Yujing Zhao, Brianna Nicole Pappas, Ayoi Gan. Jaya Shin. Sophia Booth. Honja Yang. Daisy. Benson, Sydney Matai, John Holland, Andrew Stankowitz, <laughs> Lena Omar Adjul. Maxwell Bear Fisher. <laughs> Madeline Marie Weber. <laughs> Nolan Beckwith. <laughs> Elena Khan. Samuel Michael Kennaway. Christian Anthony Garcia. <laughs> Megan Wynn. <laughs> Zenobia Danielle Turner. <laughs> Relady Alexandra Lopez Burgos. Molly Solano. <laughs> Heidi Michelle Zilandendia. Zilandendia. <laughs> Sorry. Jack Thomas Hilgren. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. I am Young Min Moon, uh, Chair of the Art Department. Thank you. I am, I am joined today by my colleagues, uh, Professor Jeff Casper, 
and Professor Susan Jahoda, and Professor Mavishi Chishiti. I'm speaking to our art graduates. Coming from your high schools, you might have thought that art allows you to ex express yourself. Over the past four years, you have learned that art is far more than that. Art stems from your careful observation and reflection of the world and your imagination to think otherwise. Art is fundamental to our human values, social life, and sensory engagement. Through art, ideas become tangible, and we gain new ways of seeing, understanding, and communicating. Art enables you to illuminate your worlds and reveal your beliefs and values. Art's inherent capacities to generate multiple perspectives and interpretations allows for a nuanced understanding of our increasingly complex world. Today, our contemporary culture is bombarded by unstable images generated for mindless consumptions and profits. Whether, I'm sorry, the future of our culture is in your hands. Whether you pursue a career in the arts or not, use your creativity and criti critical thinking and aspire to explore ideas that are hospitable for the well-being of all human beings and communities and the whole planet. Congratul congratulations to you and to the family and friends who made this day possible. Thank you. Dania Bischel. <laughs> Jessica Key Kornfeld. <laughs> Sarah Junta. <laughs> Nicholas Su Kyung Her. Joshua William Cohen. <laughs> Shelby Ryder. <laughs> Alian B. Schatz. <laughs> Leilani Gabriella Pucci. Dorothy Yoon Wang. <laughs> Katya Obeyed. <laughs> Emma Grace Courier Doherty. <laughs> Shriya Agrawal. Palhado Adikabi Der Alioni. Maria Nicolina Brooks. J. Phoenix Gonzalez G. Steinbrecher. Madeline Lynn Asaker. <laughs> Allison Bordeaux. <laughs> Emma Catherine Margaret Meek. Michaela Carter Melchin. One chance to get this right. <laughs> Oliver Dooley Brubaker.
Elijah Nosa. Beatrice Waithaka. <laughs> Sylvia Officer. <laughs> Momo Torres. <laughs> Thomas James Ballerino. Greta Sandra Jarvi. <laughs> Elizabeth Hawes Tejeda. <laughs> Henry Philip Prentice. Adrian Albro Fisher. <laughs> Sophie Zilberberg. <laughs> Lindsay R. Norse. Caroline Donahy. <laughs> Ula Yanina Grabsky. <laughs> Isabella Cusano. Senna Yaktin. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Monica Schmitter, and I'm the chair of the Department of the History of Art and Architecture. Thank you. And I'm here with my colleague, Professor Meg Vickery, who is the undergraduate program director. So first of all, to the graduates in the history of art and architecture, on behalf of the entire faculty of the department, congratulations. Um, we are really so proud of you. And um, we want you to go forth into the world knowing what your major has given to you. So if I had to say three things, it would be these. The ability, wait, the ability to critically analyze visual culture and information, formidable research and writing skills, and an informed understanding of cultural differences. You may go on to work in the art market, museums, or other artistic settings, but these crucial skills may serve you in a wide range of possible livelihoods. Do not be afraid to explore and to find what is right for you. We know that you have a bright, interesting, and dynamic life and career ahead of you. So good luck, bon voyage, and keep in touch. Isabel Ann Ursabia Solom. <laughs> Chelsea Staub. Meredith Hyde Boyle. <laughs> Amelia Ceballos. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia Mar Mary Maroulis. <laughs> Danielle Efrat. <laughs> Ian Gordon. Marguerite A. Carroll. Yeah. 
Emma, <laughs> Emma Violet Holtz. Rebecca Griebno. Finley Z. Riley. Emily Margaret Gordon. Nina P. Kelleher. Marcella Pareja. Good afternoon. My name is Anthony Tuck. Uh, I have the distinct honor of serving as chair of the Department of Classics. Uh, I'm joined here today uh, with two of my brilliant colleagues, Professor Brian Breed and Professor Shannon Hogue. When we read Aristotle, we learn that education is the only path to virtue. But Aristotle also knew that virtue is not a destination, it is an obligation. The 2023 graduates of the Department of Classics know this, and through their hard work and commitment to inquiry, they now know that they are prepared to seek virtue amid the blur of misinformation, to speak virtue against the cacophony of misrepresentation, and to embody virtue to a world increasingly in need of its example. And so to the graduates of the class of 2023, congratulations. And I do hope you take this time to celebrate and savor this moment. You have truly, truly earned it. But know this as well. Now is when your task truly begins. It's not enough to simply be virtuous in a world bereft of it. Your obligation now is to be a beacon to those lost in their confusion and an example to those in need of guidance. Now is the time to transform the knowledge you've gained here into the wisdom you will need to light a path forward through the world. Congratulations and good luck. Michaela Carey Stormo Dolge. Marguerite Camille Knapp. Sarah Powell. Kylie Holmes. Andrew Sullivan. Hertzen Reese. Callie Nicole Mayer. Caroline Elaine. Marin Ainsley Bailey. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Joseph Black, Chair of the Department of English. Joining me today is David Fleming, our Director of Undergraduate Studies. On behalf of the English program, I extend heartfelt congratulations to all of you. Your years here have been challenging ones. Uh, your success has been hard won. But I urge you never to doubt the value of what you've learned in your time with us. And education in the humanities has always been understood as preparation for anything, to create, to build, to lead, to discover. Everyone who's been on this stage firmly believes that this remains more true today than ever before. We send you into your futures with confidence in the power, the value, the foundational usefulness of the education you've received. W.E.B. Du Bois argued that an education in the humanities opens you to the fullest enjoyment of the possibilities of human existence. It provides mastery of the media through which we think, feel, and express ourselves. It enlivens your creative impulse in thought and imagination. 
As English majors, you've learned valuable skills, not only reading, writing, critical thinking, but also creativity, curiosity, empathy. The world is changing, and these are the qualities the world and workplaces need. We proudly send you forth to live fully and broadly, as Du Bois suggests. Our best wishes and congratulations to the English graduates of 2023, your families, and your friends. Liam Breen. Faith Marie Butler. Diego Alejandro Calderon. Ladine Barbosa. Danica Maisie Dignan. Adria Dominique Westort. Faith Michelle Shatford. Jorge Luis Biaggi. Ross Calabro. Sydney Michelle Burke. Kylie Nicole Bain. Leah Elizabeth Yonchik. Victoria Jean Crockett. Michelle Victoria Silveira. Van Tung Ho. Bridget Louise Richardson. Samantha Melo Leandro. Ariana Rose Schreibman. Emma Grace Germanetto. Alejandro Timothy Barton Negreros. Claire Marie Harrison. Lauren Saloyo. Caitlin Marie LeBlanc. Lindsay Vargas. Nicole Elizabeth Valiant. Margaret Claire Peterson. Liam Daniel Doherty. Sophia Elizabeth Lauer. Jordan Alexis Richo. Nadia Obeyed. Abigail Genevieve Wing. Julia Miriam Miraji. Catherine Rose Carroll. Brenna Elizabeth Sullivan. Grace Hogan. Emma Kate Vassell. Calvin Mitchell. Molly Mae Hamilton. Tanner Grexton. Eva Dono Capobianco. 
Ryan Edward Long. Brian Lynch Scott. Aiden James Bender. Kaylin Koperniak. Haley Marie Black. Jeremy Heading Richter. Eamon Pence Elliott. Evelyn Diana Rodriguez Galvez. Christopher Samuel Torres. Srija Nagaretti. Marissa Ann Mansfield. Marina Goldman. Julia Marie Adams. Aradna Johnson. Marie Eliza Kiabiab. Megan Elizabeth Kane. Emma Charlotte Swanick. Sarah Kristen Ballion. Rebecca Catherine Lamana. Samantha May Gallant. Tiffany June Hewn. Anna Anita Shabazian. Hannah Corcoran. Gabriel Delgado. Michael Ian Guten. Theodore Bain Bellick. Olivia Forestier. Bridget Margaret Potter. Victoria Lynn Shepeluk. Anne Elizabeth Diadamo. Allison Catherine Zadrevic. Brody Hawks. Daniel Levine. Gianna Caforio. Tori Hanks. Dennis Houghton. Michael Thompson. Jonathan Hood Del Signore. Ethan Abraham Freeman. Arenza Jasmine Morissette. Emily T. Torak. Delante Castle. Good afternoon. Thank you. 
<laughs> I am Brian Ogilvie, Chair of the History Department, and I am joined today by my colleague, Professor Audrey Altstadt, a former Department Chair, uh, and Daniel, Professor Daniel Gordon, Honors Program Director in History. History graduates, you have learned a lot in your four or five or six years at UMass. You have learned that the past is prologue, that we can't understand the present without knowing how we got here. You have learned how to research the past and how to critique other historians' interpretations. You can write and speak eloquently and persuasively about how our world came to be. These skills will serve you well in any path you take, as a lawyer, as a humanitarian, as a doctor, as a public servant, as an entrepreneur, or even as a teacher or professor. Remember, history is the universal discipline. Everything has a history. Congratulations to you and to the family and friends who made this day possible. Brigham James Keefe. Alyssa Silverian. Benjamin Schnoor. Duncan Barrett Hilliard. Matthew Dardis. Joshua Flaig Dos Reis. <laughs> Jay Sun Jun Zin Wang. <laughs> Alexandra Rose Gagnon. Craig Matthew Libby. Nathan Joseph Crivolin. Aviva Gershman. Megan Addis. Katie Butler. Claire Gagnon. Brianna Hastry. Emily Joanne McDonough. Rose Dearborn. <laughs> Kaylee Rosanna Vandemark Adams. <laughs> Preya Patel. Vanessa Vincent. Jeremy Spivak. Robert Cahill. Ben Sudal. Michael Veronda. Matthew Thomas Hickey. Brendan Dekoff.
Pranit Patil. Patrick Bruce Murray. Harry Edward Blackman. Dominic Giovanni Montero. Jason Rivera. Sean Evan Bogan. Nicholas Antonio Cipriani. Emma Rose Flynn. Timothy John Newcomb. Cicely Weber. Soha Habib. Duncan Taylor Kelly. Jenna Boyer. Riley Gregoire. Mia Rose De Palma. <laughs> Haley Logan. Juliani, Juliana Rose de Bona. Woo. Patience Jennifer Gubish. Woo. Hannah Margaret Whalen. Woo. Luca Kemper de Cola. Benjamin Campanella. Hunter Cohen. Congratulations. Maya Sital. Evelyn Michelle Lee. Albert Michael Thomas, Jr. E.K. E. Schlegel. Rowan Hawk Vale. Eleanor Elizabeth Costello. Laura Haskell. Deborah Wing Colson. Marco Antonio McElhaney.
Good, af Good afternoon. Can you hear me in the back? So I'm Professor Ann Broadbridge, Chair of the Judaic and Near Eastern Studies Department, Director of Middle Eastern Studies, and Professor of History. The Department of Judaic and Near Eastern Studies is proud to be one of the few departments in the nation to offer majors in both Judaic Studies and Middle Eastern Studies. Our faculty and students from both fields coexist peacefully and interact productively. We would love to call ourselves the few, the proud, but that already belongs to the Marines. We are especially proud of our students' dedication to foreign language, the virtues of which we will soon hear from my colleagues in the Languages, Literatures, and Cultures Department. Here in Judaic and Near Eastern Studies, our majors spend multiple years studying Arabic or Hebrew, neither of which is an easy language. The students achieve laudable results. Let me add that both Middle Eastern Studies and Judaic Studies are interdisciplinary majors, which means that our students take classes in history, political science, anthropology, comparative literature, film, religion, and legal studies, among others. As you might imagine, this helps them develop a flexibility, creativity, and limberness of mind that is hard to find elsewhere and yet useful everywhere. Our talented graduates go on to work in government, business, law, human rights, or they excel in further graduate level education. We are incredibly proud of every single one. If I may. And our graduate this year is Iman Aoun. Good afternoon again. Uh, my name is Anthony Tuck. And uh, this year, I've had the distinct pleasure of uh, serving with a group of truly remarkable students and, and colleagues uh, as the chair of the Department of Languages, Literatures, and Cultures. LLC is home to the instruction of 11 different languages, as well as the discipline of comparative literature. And it is here that the 2023 graduates of LLC have learned an essential truth. Translation is transformation. Through the time and commitment you've invested in your education, you have mastered something that is truly audacious. From a babble of misunderstanding, you create a wider, broader, greater sense of community. Translation is not merely the replication of words from one language to another. It is an expansion of opportunity and a liberation of thought. You graduate from the University of Massachusetts Amherst with the tools to build a more inclusive world, one based on shared understanding, and the humility to learn from those who may at first seem or sound unlike us. You graduate now not only with the respect and admiration of your faculty, you graduate into a world prepared to transform it according to the optimism and audacity you have fostered here. Congratulations to all of you. Hello and welcome. I'm Karine Taktiris, the Undergraduate Program Director of Comparative Literature. We're so pleased to honor our graduates today who work and study and live in Chinese, English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Russian, Sicilian, and Spanish, while analyzing oral and written literatures, film, and graphic novels, and comics. Congratulations, we're so proud of you. Savannah Ray Weaver. <laughs> Tiffany June Wynn. <laughs> Anna Anita Shabazian. Lillian Gada Shaw.
Hello, everyone. I'm Enhua Zhang, the Undergraduate Program Director for Chinese. I wanted to start with recalling an experience in March 2021. I gave an impassioned speech at the anti-Asian hate rally in downtown Amherst. In the following week, I received several emails from my students expressing compassion, comfort, and admiration for my courage to speak up. They taught me the values of public engagement and commitment to justice, a core mission of humanities. And today, I want to congratulate the Chinese graduates to embark on the journey to take the role of ambassador between the US and Chinese societies. You have mastered the hardest, one of the hardest languages in the world, and you can communicate with over a billion people in the world. Hooray. And now, it's your time to spread the wings into the world of unknown and to enhance the mutual understandings between the two, the world's two largest economic entities. I wish every one of you can continue to contributing to overcoming the barriers between the countries, the peace and harmony between different races and ethnicities. Congratulations, wish you all a bright future. Olivia Claire Nash. Addison Greenwood. Chase Parker Fabio. Asher Hilal Shudrich. Hi, I'm Steve Forrest, uh, co-director of the undergraduate Japanese program. I'd like to say a few words to our students. Nihongo, Nihonbun Gakusenko no Minasama, Go Sosuyo Omedeto Rosaimas. Krog Hakase no Okotoba o Karite, Itte Okimasuga. Shoujo, Shonen yo, Taishi o Idake. Congratulations. Ian Law. Adia Bednarsik. Jillian Cabral. Ayla Olenbush. Bonjour. Good afternoon. I'm Philippe Bayargent. I'm the Department of uh, Languages and Literature uh, and Cultures Associate Chair, and I'm here as uh, Director of French and Francophone Studies Program, if you didn't guess uh, until now. Uh, I would like to congratulate uh, our many secondary majors and all our minors. And uh, c'est avec un très grand plaisir, uh, honneur, privilège, que je vous présente la promotion 2023 des étudiants d'études françaises et francophones. But before I do so, uh, I would like to quote the great philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre. Go UMass! <laughs> Isabelle Joy Gross. <laughs> Veronica is staying with us for a master's degree. Yes, Veronica! Yeah. Veronica Jaster. Buongiorno. Uh, my name is Melina Masterson, and I'm the undergraduate program director for Italian studies. 
go Italian studies. For our majors and minors, I have a message for you. Um, congratulazioni ai nostri laureandi. È stato un percorso lungo e difficile sicuramente, ma speriamo anche divertente e ricco di soddisfazioni. Noi professori siamo tutti orgogliosi di voi e vi auguriamo un futuro brillante e speriamo che l'Italia e l'italiano parte, facciano parte delle vostre vite per sempre. Un in bocca al lupo a tutti e grazie. <ride> Emma Grace Germanetto. <ride> Julia Marie De Rocher. Timothy Michael Ringi. Good afternoon. I guess everybody's taller than I am. Um, I am not Sarah Jackson. I am Joy Bowman, but I am going to introduce the uh, German and German and Scandinavian studies students. And I just wanted to say it's a privilege to do it um, in the sense that, yes, all of us need to understand how our world is changing and you students are making a way in terms of knowing other languages and being able to go out in the world and be ambassadors. So congratulations to all of you. Marley Ann Norton. Sarah McManus, <laughs> Maxwell Carl Goldman, <laughs> Philip Heslop, <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Buenas tardes, Buenas tarde. uh, My name is uh, Professor David Rodriguez Solas. I'm Director of Spanish and Portuguese Studies. It's an honor to congratulate the Spanish class of 2023. Um, I'm here with uh, uh, my colleagues, uh, Patricia Guitosi and Patricia Martino Ferreira, uh, both colleagues in Spanish and Portuguese studies, uh, who will read names afterwards. I will switch to Spanish for a moment. Uh, en nombre de los profesores y profesoras del programa de español y portugués, les doy la más sincera enhorabuena. Me gustaría reconocer el esfuerzo que hicieron en los últimos cuatro años en sus clases y fuera de ellas han adquirido los conocimientos lingüísticos y culturales para desempeñarse en un idioma que comparten con países de este mismo continente, de otros continentes y con sus vecinos latinex y lusófonos del estado de Massachusetts y de otros estados de este país. Donde quiera y como quiera que usen los conocimientos que les ayudamos a adquirir, recuerden que hablar una segunda lengua y empatizar con otras culturas es en sí mismo un acto de generosidad. Muchas felicidades, Pagamens. Sabana Martín. <tose> Esther Yen. Kate Alice Nadolski. Alice Virginia Trop. Sarah Mellian. Yons Kalabi. Jenna K. Ho. <laughs> Nina Gigliotti. Vladim <laughs> Barbosa. <laughs> Cameron Evans.
Michaela Ford. Siofan Moore. Grace Rita Bertaña. Isabella Eve Green. Anna Isabel Clune. Nathan Comerchero. Mireya Ortiz. Janelle, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> Marius. <Yes. laughs> Marcella Luciana Rubini. <laughs> Eliza Grace Stewart Smith. Yuji Kim. Ariana Abreu. Good afternoon, boa tarde. It is my great honor to introduce the 2023 class of Portuguese graduates and their wonderful accomplishments. I have been their professor for a few years, and I'm very, very proud of their accomplishments. Muito, muitos parabéns, e que toda a vossa carreira cheia, cheia, seja cheia de sucessos. Congratulations to them, their families and friends. Rebeca Pereira. Isabel Cruz. Joshua Badal Rodrigues. <laughs> Catarina Martins. <laughs> Vitória Tavares. <laughs> Samantha Leandro. <laughs> Marco McLeany. <laughs> McElhenney. <laughs> I am Professor Audrey Altsted, a professor of history and also affiliated member of the program, the interdisciplinary program in Russian, Eurasian, and Polish studies. That's REPS. The REPS program is, as I said, interdisciplinary, and it combines the study with a major language of the former Russian Empire or Soviet Union or related areas. It is a a program which stretches across this College of Humanities and Fine Arts and also the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. REPS is a successor to the former Russian department here at UMass, but it embodies the same vision as Russian, Slavic, and Eurasian area studies programs that have flourished throughout the United States since the late 1940s. REPS program offers both a major and a minor, including Russian and Polish languages and other languages of the former USSR for our UMass undergraduates. Students may choose from courses in history, Middle Eastern or film studies, political science, legal studies, anthropology, as well as languages of the region. In 2023, Reps has one graduating major. I'd like to congratulate her. Naruskom yazike ya pozdravlyayu vas. And in English, I am I'm pleased to present and to congratulate our student Sarah Crowley.
My name is Kyle Johnson. Dr. Lisa Green and I are professors in the Linguistics Department, and it is our joy to present to you the 2023 UMass Linguists. In their journey through our program, they've studied how human cognition enables us to extract from the noise which is speech the information it encodes. They've studied how this magical ability supports the social structures that bind us all, leading to the wonderful diversity of and in the languages we use. I hope the skills you graduates have acquired along the way will help you find answers to the many questions that will confront you. At least, I hope it has equipped you with an answer for the question you will all face, what the heck is linguistics? <laughs> we will really miss you. Keep in touch. Congratulations, linguists of 2023. Sovesh Mahaputra. <laughs> Henry Douglas Walters. <laughs> Emily Nick. <laughs> Chloe Peyton Ostigai. Zhonghua Wu. <laughs> Katie Sarah Jordan. <laughs> Xander Clay Lynch. <laughs> Kai Hinkle. <laughs> Maya Simpson. Samuel Letterer. De Palmer? I can't read that. Okay. Mia De Palmer. <laughs> Daniel Raphael Joseph De Gennaro. Shu Yang Shay. <laughs> Jiang Jing Zhang. <laughs> Ari Hansel Baumgarten. <laughs> Madura Sengupta. Grace Catherine Cole. Katie Davia Kubo. Rachel Eileen Mayer. Isabella Brooke Cerulli. Juliet Carmody Berry. <laughs> Emily Kay. <laughs> Ashley Marie Agostinelli. <laughs> Hi. Mm -hmm. Maxwell Bayer Fisher. UG Kim. Hang in there, everybody. You're doing great. <laughs> my name is Matthew Westgate. I'm the chair of the music and dance department. I'm joined on the stage by my colleagues, Daniel Albert, a professor of music education, and Dr. Erica Drake, our undergraduate advisor and undergraduate program director. Graduates, we're all very proud of you and what you have accomplished. And you may not realize how important or how moving it is for us as your professors and deans and department chairs 
to experience your dedication and accomplishment in a ceremony like this, in this beautiful gymnasium. <laughs> there are many moments in life, in life when everyone, including your professors and department chairs and deans, ask the question, why am I doing this? Did I make the right choice? Was it all worth it? In your commitment and your dedication to your field, in seeing you here today, about to commence this next step of your journey, makes us feel that our choices were valid. So thank you. For as long as humans have been on Earth, they've recorded their experiences in literature, in art, in music, philosophy, language, and other subjects. And you have spent the last four years or more studying and immersing yourself in the human experience. And now you are about to become the people in society that can help everyone else contextualize it. You're creative. You can contextualize. You know how to work together. You understand the human experience from multiple points of view. You know how to collaborate. You know how to improvise. And these are valuable skills that the world needs more than ever. You are all, even if you're not a musician, you're the music maker and the dreamer of dreams. And that's what we need. I'm always talking to my students about beginning with the end in mind, so sometime soon after the dust settles from these ceremonies and graduation parties, I invite you to start thinking about this new beginning and what you want to do. Not what you want to be, but what you want to do. How can what you now know benefit other people? How can you make the world a better place because of who you are and what you can offer? Then. Be courageous. No one has lived your life before. You are the first one to do it your way. In the words of the great Jedi Master, Yoda, pass on what you have learned. <laughs> Keep learning, stay curious, and teach each other how to listen and understand one each other with your art. In the meantime, be sure to thank these people that are around you and take a moment to just be grateful. Congratulations. Sean Angus Campbell. Inez Carmen Arellano. Timothy James Gulliger. Ryan Lanice Gibson. Coleman Breed Hovey. Dylan Francis Walter. Dakota Austin Gill. Aiden Madden. Eloise Mary Guncalvis. Hannah White Rivera. Jordan Kinder. Harris David Fearing. Elijah Wilson. Monroe Randall. Eleanor Victoria Sturm. Spencer Lee. Enoch Shao. Michael Reedy. Mm -hmm. 
Ryan Schneider. Kevin Francis Nephew. Nicholas Charles Matson. Elkin Felipe Sosa. Brian James Carr. Marcus Rolando Gonzalez. Ethan Richard Cogswell. Raya Lichtenstein. Rachel Suzanne Hertz. Grace Gerhauser. Natalie Mundus. Jack Ryan Bainton. Joseph Weldon Huggins. Bronwyn Grace Tyler Wall. Brianna Lee Manus. Hello everyone, I'm Professor Tom Vacanti in the dance program in the Department of Music and Dance. And joining me today are my colleagues, Professor Lauren Cox and Professor Dwayne Lee Holland, Jr. And um, yes, what am I gonna do with, my, with the rest of my life? What am I, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? Versus, what do I feel inspired to explore more deeply at this point in my life? These are two comparative questions posed by Corey Muscara, an international speaker and teacher on the topics of mindfulness and positive psychology. He goes on to say, the second question removes the pressure to plan your whole life in one moment and trains you to honor the ever-changing truth of your being. As dancers, we experience the variables and uncertainties of technique class and stage performance. There are no safe bets in these situations. We are uniquely qualified to navigate through the unpredictable moments. I now encourage you, and all of the graduates in this room to allow your life to be unpredictable. And it will be unpredictable. Allow for the opportunity to change your mind and to change your path. If a totally preposterous opportunity arises for you, seriously consider it. Honor who you are at the moment and not where you need to be in 10 years. Honor the artist and free spirit that you have cultivated so far in your young lives. Go forth and do great things. You will always have the support of your dance family here at UMass. Uh, Miss Kayla Dame Reed. Allison Rebecca Parent. Jillian Lee Murray. Sophie Joy Lavalley. Brett Olivia Cronin.
Nicole Frederick Ellsworth. Isabella Annalise Berenstein. Neve Rollins. Nicole Lombardi. Hello, I'm Kevin Clement. I am the uh, professor and chair of philosophy. With me is my colleague, Professor Vanessa de Harvin, our honors program director. Philosophers, and by extension, philosophy majors, tend to have a love of ideas. Being a philosophy major requires the ability to produce ideas, having a rich imagination. But philosophy also requires rigorous thought, an ability to apply both logic and one's values to whatever one is thinking about. Philosophy often focuses on arguments. I don't mean arguments in the sense of disputes, but arguments in the sense of the relationship between premises and a conclusion. Analyzing and evaluating them leads to keen insight and discrimination into what is and what is not a reason to believe something. As you pass on from your studies here at UMass, we wish you the best in thinking and reasoning well about whatever life throws your way. This may be in your workplace, where we hope your intellectual problem-solving skills serve you well. This may be in your family life as a parent or sibling or caregiving child, where making tough decisions and staying true to one's values are always a necessity. For all of you, we hope these skills make you a better citizen, that they help you in making decisions such as whom to vote for, what projects to engage in, and where to best spend your time. We are proud of you and all you, that you have achieved so far, intellectually and otherwise, and wish you nothing but the same in the future. Joseph, Go Joseph Gordon. Kate V. Cataldo. Benjamin Harrington. Ethan Charles Hansen. Aryaman Agrawal. Thank you. Clara Puglielli. Had to check how many names there were. Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Priscilla Maria Page, and I'm a professor of theater, and I'm joined today by Willow Cohen, the general manager in our department. I'm also the director of our Multicultural Theater Certificate. And I just wanna share a few words for our graduates today. And I'll start with a quote. Um, you must enter the theater through the world. And that's Julian Beck, who co-founded the Living Theater with his partner, Judith Molina just as their theater company, company found its new life as a nomadic ensemble that began traveling the world in 1962. The Living Theater was a leading experimental company that created insightful political theater in places like Brazil, Spain, and many parts of the United States. And I want to ask each graduate um, to think about what it means to consider yourself a citizen of the world today. What does it mean to hold compassion for yourself and others, even those who live far away and in very different conditions? What does it mean to extend empathy to yourself and others? How do you center love for humanity in all that you do? These are central values in theater, and the greatest playwrights from all over the world have created characters who wrestle with these very ideas. As theater artists, we create the worlds in which these values are embodied and even tested in the face of great adversity. And as you leave UMass today and move on to the next phase of your lives, it is my hope that you will continue to bring a vision of wholeness and humanity with you every time you enter the theater. Congratulations, graduates.
Yu Ying Ethel Dong. Julian Enrique Butago. Parker Mitchell Fisher. Jose Roman Moreno, Jr. Minyan Zhu. Gemma Kepner. Fleur Leandra Kuda. Andrew Richard Bove. <laughs> Abigail Emily Marie Hare. <laughs> Michael Alexander Donnelly. <laughs> Parker. Jules Traphagen. <laughs> Sophia Watson Circe Ello. <laughs> Andre Omar Messervy. Katarina Sofia Santos Martins. Victoria Barosa Taveras. Senna Yaktin. Madeline Elizabeth. Shemenyor Bar. Hi, everybody. Now we are really almost there. OK, so my name is Cameron Awkward Rich, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Women, Gender, Sexuality Studies, standing in for our overworked chair, Dr. Kieran Asher. It is my great pleasure to congratulate some of the department's 2023 graduates, along with their friends, families, and other loved ones who have helped them reach this stage in their lives. Today, they are graduating from one of the oldest WGSS programs in the country. Founded in 1974, WGSS has long been committed to the twin projects of critique and imagination, of deep study of the unjust arrangements of the present, and simultaneously imagining what more liberatory possibilities are being blocked by that given state of affairs. As such, our majors and our minors have spent their time at UMass studying the long history of social justice movements in and outside of the US, including indigenous struggles and those for sustainability, struggles for disability justice and trans liberation, struggles against sexual violence, struggles for black freedom. They have been immersed in the theoretical and artistic traditions that arise from and feed these struggles. They have used the classroom, the university, as a setting to rehearse for a better world, modeling the principles of democracy and the horizon of abolition in all aspects of their lives and work. It has been, to say the least, a hard few years, and there will be, we know, harder years to come. But today, we send you, our remarkable graduates, forth knowing that you have the skills, the ideas, and the precedents you'll need to keep us alert to what suffering there is in the world, to bear witness to and speak against it, and above all, to keep the project and the discipline of hope alive. Congratulations. Nalissa Carly Joseph. Leah Rose Cohen. 
Rebecca Erin Nash. Claire Allison Sheedy. Jingi Fu. Great folks, you made it. I have just a couple of closing remarks. Students, families, let's take a moment and thank our brilliant and dedicated faculty who taught you all these years. Okay. So, this is a little intervention um, about the Dean, actually. Um, as we celebrate all of you, we also say congratulations to Dean Barbara Krauthammer. She uh, became the Dean of Humanities and Fine Arts, as she mentioned, three years ago at the beginning of the pandemic. An unenviable job, which we can all agree about, right? Her vision, dedication, and creativity has made this college of HFA a better place. She is headed to Emory University in Atlanta to become the Dean of Arts and Sciences. We know that she will work her magic there as well. It's a huge loss for us, a victory for them. We say thank you for all that you've done here and the best of luck on your new adventure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Totally unnecessary. Um, th thank you all. It's been a remarkable 15 years at UMass and a remarkable three years as dean of our wonderful college. Um, graduates, I just want to leave you with these final words. Many of you are first in your families to graduate from college. Some of you come from a long line of college graduates. All of you, each of you has worked so hard to get to this day. And I hope that each and every one of you congratulates yourself on all that you have accomplished. You have made your faculty proud. You have made your friends and families proud. And I hope that you are proud of what you have done and what you will do. We're all so proud of you. We wish the very best for you in everything that you do. Please remember to come back and visit HFA, share your wisdom and experiences with students and classes yet to come, and go out into the world and do good. Class of 2023, I wish you the best. Stay in touch, you are our newest alumni, and we can't wait to see what happens. take all of your belongings with you as you exit the building. Have a great celebration.
Thank you so much.